It's very common for people who are trying to lose weight to initiate an exercise program along with improving their nutrition. However, based on several studies, it appears that nutrition has a much greater influence on losing weight than exercise. But exercise can help. One potential mechanism is its influence on our appetite. In this video, we explore in what way and how exercise influences appetite. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. Studies show that the sensation of hunger can be reduced during and after exercise. Now, the intensity of exercise plays a role in this, and studies have shown that low or moderate intensity doesn't seem to change appetite or the sense of hunger, but moderate exercise for longer durations of time or high intensity exercise will suppress the feeling of hunger. The type of exercise, either aerobic or resistance training, will also influence the sensation of hunger. So there was a study of healthy young males and they looked at three scenarios. One was they did resistance exercise for 90 minutes using free weightlifting. Some did aerobic exercise for 60 minutes. And then they had a control group that just rested. And they found that aerobic exercise resulted in a greater suppression of hunger than resistance exercise. And there was a very interesting, fascinating study that looked at the role of exercise and how it influenced the brain in centers that deal with appetite. They studied 30 young, healthy men and women, and they had them do 60 minutes of aerobic exercise on a bike. And then afterwards, they put them in an MRI and they MRI their brain looking at centers and regions that are associated with appetite. They found that exercise reduced neural responses in brain regions consistent with reduced pleasure of food, reduced incentive and motivation to eat, and reduced anticipation and consumption of food. And additionally, they found that exercise relative to the no exercise significantly lower ratings of hunger and significantly increased their perceptions of satiety and their feeling of fullness. These studies altogether show the importance of exercise on influencing our sensations of hunger and appetite. How much food do people consume after they exercise compared to those people who are not exercising? Are they eating more, eating less, or is it roughly the same? You could think of food as energy, calories. When you're exercising, you're spending, you're, you're burning energy, you're burning calories. And when you're eating, you're intaking these calories, you're intaking energy. Although you might think that, well, after you exercise, you're going to be hungrier and therefore eat more, actually the study showed that people who exercise do not consume any more food after they exercise compared to those people who don't exercise. There was a meta-analysis of 29 studies and they looked at the absolute energy intake, meaning the actual amount of calories eaten. And they also looked at the relative energy intake after exercise. This analysis demonstrated that the absolute energy intake during subsequent meals is not increased to match the energy that was burned off during exercise. It appears that individuals do not compensate with increased food intake in response to acute exercise for up to 10 hours afterward. But there is a significant relative decrease in the energy intake because you were spending all this energy on exercise but it wasn't like you were taking in excessive more amounts of energy or food compared to those people who don't exercise. So there'll be a relative reduction in energy intake. Let's take a look at an example. If you just spent 2000 calories exercising and after you exercise, you eat 2000 calories. Okay. You're at a net zero. Now compare that to someone who did not exercise, but they were sitting on the couch and they had the exact same meal of 2000 calories. Well, they're at a net positive of 2000 calories. So there's a relative difference between these two scenarios. So there's a relative 2000 calorie lower amount in the person who exercised. This is one reason that exercise can help someone maintain a healthy weight status. Children and adolescents also benefit from exercise's influence on appetite and hunger. And multiple meta-analyses have shown that for children, or adolescents who are either overweight or obese, exercise reduces not only their relative energy intake, but their absolute energy intake. They're literally taking in less food. And so this is another way that for even young people and adolescents and children to help them maintain a healthy weight status. 
Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, exercise reduces the feelings of hunger. Number two, exercising does not increase the amount of food we eat afterwards. Number three, there's a relative reduction in energy intake after we exercise compared to those people who are not exercising. And finally, intensity and type of exercise may influence its effect on hunger and on energy intake. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.